all right what is up everybody welcome to another video so today guys um today i'm gonna be showing you how to perform every single layup in the game so not only is this about knowing how to perform every single layup but it's about knowing when to use a certain uh, type of layup if you understand me so euro steps hop steps floaters jelly layups reverse layups whatever you want it's all going to be in this video um after watching this video you guys are going to actually know what you're doing when you're driving to the basket excluding the dunks but yeah i have different players showing you different layups every single one of them is kind of a ma master in their their own category so yeah um now before i get into the actual like tutorial i would be really grateful if you guys would uh, drop a like of, on this video it really means a lot to me it helps me grow um share this with your friends and if, if you want to support this channel make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button now without further ado without holding you guys for too long let's get going so first of all to perform a layup you actually need to let go of turbo now turbo is r2 on ps4 ps5 and r right trigger on the xbox so to perform a regular layup you just run towards the basket and hold right stick up the, as simple as that now you guys are going to notice that different players do a different regular layup so this is Steph Curry's Lila like regular layup um, it's a floater type layup but he actually does those not all the time but in the game these are pretty useful like for example Steph Curry's layup package is really hard to block especially if you're trying to like do a ch chase down um, if he's going to like perform a layup of the glass there's no way you're going to block it it's going to be a goaltending 9 out of 10 times but yeah as you can as i said just hold right stick up no um no turbo right okay let's keep going now here we have chris paul and he's going to be performing the floater so to do a floater it's literally the opposite of a regular layup you just hold right stick down so regular layup was up um, floater is down floaters are good when you're like there's a defender under the basket but he's not as close to you as he could be um, you throw a floater and many many times it's really useful now um, floaters can also draw you some fouls because 2k is you know the game is crazy you understand me but floaters are not easy to make, especially if you don't have uh, badges and like decent ratings or if somebody's even contesting you. So floaters are best used when there's nobody near you, but they're especially useful when you know somebody is going to try to block you and you have to, have to like take a quick layup. So like somebody is running to, from the help defense you just throw a floater, there's no way they're going to block you. Next up, we have a so-called crater layup. Now, LeBron is master at this. Um, he does it in real life, you can use it in 2K. Um, crater layup is basically a layup, as you can see, this was the crater layup, where he like protects the ball. Um, I think this works the best when there's like a little defender that's going to try to strip you off. Um, not only are you protecting the ball, but you can see he's using his uh, he's using his shoulder to kind of like push off the defender. Now there's no defender here, of course, but you should just try it. Like go on a blacktop one on one and just try using these layups. Try to see what works best. I'm telling you, cradle layup with LeBron's package is something else. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't recommend LeBron's package for you to use on park because it's like there's some unnecessary moves that he does that are going to get you blocked many times and the ball is exposed a lot of times um, also there's a chance he might switch from left hand to right hand and etc but yeah basically create a layup to do it you just hold the right stick um, diagonally down to the side that, you, that uh, ball is it to the hand that your ball is in basically so if it's in your right hand you hold right stick diagonally down and right and if it's in your left hand you hold your right stick diagonally down and left i hope you understand this 
Now next up we have Yannis and the Kumpo. He's going to be doing the Euro step. So there are two ways to do Euro step. Um, the simpler and easier method which I use is uh, double tapping square. Again, don't hold turbo. You're going to understand why later. So double tap square. Um, Euro steps are good when there's basically defender and you want to kind of shake him off, um, make him, you know, go to one side while you're laying up to the other side. And the other method that's not double tapping square is, for example, the ball is in your right hand, you're, you're gonna hold right stick diagonally down and left. So cradle was diagonally down and right if it's in your right hand, but your step is diagonally down and left. And if it's in your left hand, you hold right stick diagonally down and right. This might sound, co sound complicated, but they are going to be like the instructions from the game on screen, so everything should make more sense without me saying it many, many times. And um, why use Anatokounmpo? Well, his Euro steps are crazy because he can take um, long steps. And in 2K, trust me, try using Euro step with Anatokounmpo, and you're gonna understand what I'm talking about. Next up we have the rose showing us the hop step. So to do a hop step, what you need to do is basically while you're driving, just tap square. Um, I'm not sure, I, I would recommend you hold R2 and when he gets into the animation, you should release it depending on the outcome. So if you want your guy to hop and then dunk, just keep holding R2. And if you want him to uh, like lay up the ball, just let go of R2 when he gets into the animation. So basically just tap square, he gets into the anim animation and you just hold square again to release it, you know, get a perfect release. You guys might hear some screeching in the background, uh, something is going on in my building, I don't know what to say, and let's just ignore it. But yeah, why I picked Rose, well, the Rose used to do hop steps like crazy, um, hop step dunk, hop step floaters, hop step animations, you name it. Now here we have John Wall and he's going to be showing you the like spin layup and like I don't know how he missed this but whatever. So to do a spin layup it's literally the same as the Euro step, double tapping square but this time you're holding the turbo. Um, this is really useful but of course this animation has pros and cons. Many times if you bump into a other player where you're spinning to the side, you're going to lose the ball. So you have to know when to use it. For example, you're driving right, the defender is going aggressively right, then you spin to the left. Um, there's no way he's going to react that fast unless he has great defensive badges. So this is great for making separation. Um, you can also dunk out of this, just keep holding R2 if you don't want to dunk of this just let go of R2 when he gets into the animation and yeah that's it. Now finally we're getting to some, <clears throat> you probably guys are all clicked on this video because of, because of this, but these are those flash, flashy layups. So first of all let's start with the reverse. To do a reverse layup um, while driving from the right side hold right stick to the right and if you're driving from the left side hold right stick to the left. Reverses are great, they look amazing, but again, um, they're sometimes really hard to make, especially if there's like a rim protection under the basket, you're either going to get blocked or just miss it crazy, but you can see Kyrie's animations for the reverse are insane, they look really good, they're flashy. Um, reverse is good when there's you're driving like from the corner and the defender is, let's say, at the edge of the, um, of the paint. Th that way you're really going to like go through him and have an open layup on the other side. Um, so yeah, that's the reverse. Um, make sure you test out this move, master them, because when you know how to make good layups, you don't even need to dunk, as long as you have great badges and great attributes. Now next up is going to be a jelly layup. So if you're using Kyrie basic, Kyrie's layup package, basically jellies are instant but there's this crazy animation that i just did so what you do is if you're driving with your left hand the ball is in your left hand you just hold right stick diagonally up and right and vice versa so if it's in your right hand while you're driving to the basket you hold uh, right stick diagonally up and left um it's kind of hard to get to perform this in game um i don't know why but 
I wish I could once pull this off and get an M1. I think that would be crazy. Now there's a way to do jelly labs with this with every layer package, but um let's focus on this one. So first of all, before we get to the jellies, um what you can do is you can do those kind of switch labs in there, how do I call them? Like this. So basically when you start going to the animation, you just press square again and he just switches to the other hand or switches the outcome of the layup. Um, this thing is really, it's really hard to master, but I've noticed that many times I have like, how would I say it? I've draw, I draw a foul with this a lot, especially when you know like you're going to either get blocked or you're going to miss. Like there's a great defender. You can switch it in the air and there's a pretty nice chance that um, that you draw a foul. Sometimes you even make it, but that's really rare. You have to play guys like Harden, Kyrie, and etc. Also, there's a way to do jelly. Um, this was like kind of jelly, I don't know. But what you need to do is, if you're drawing with your right hand, just hold it diagonally up and right. Same goes with the left hand, you hold it diagonally up and left. Now, I've only performed it like once or twice um, in this session. You're going to see at the end, probably right now, yeah. This wasn't a jelly. I think the last two layups I did here. Okay, this was, it's not a clean jelly, but it's something like that. It gives you space and everything. Another one here. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you much, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, like learned something new and I hope it was helpful. If any of these things that I said is true, you have to drop a like right now. Um, and make sure you subscribe because I'm dropping a lot more content and hit the notification button so you're notified whenever I upload. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.